That's a curious little piece, isn't it? Well, I've worked my incredible and bottomless magic, and that little thing is, in fact, of first civilization origin. It seems they use them as personal shields. It gives off a rather powerful electromagnetic... Yeah, this is done. Magnetic field explains its aversion to metal. Also, it... While you're talking... Can't you keep talking? That's a curious little piece, Thank isn't it? You. Well, I've worked my incredible and bottomless magic, and that little thing is, in fact, of first civilization origin. It seems they use them as personal shields. It gives off a rather powerful electromagnetic field, explains its aversion to metal, also explains why Kid's legend tells of him being invincible. Hmm. Having that trinket in your pocket would easily bend a musket ball's trajectory. That's a little thing, really. Anyway, just thought you want to know. Please do carry on. What is that? Oh, it's penetrating the wall. Oh, I have a personal shield now? That'll be cute. Please tell me Captain Kidd's outfit is, looks cool. Benjamin Church Memento That's it? I'll need to kill Lee. Yeah, Nicholas Bill is dead. Killed him. So Lee and Hazel. Okay. I need to look at the book. Flex. Sewing parts. Okay. So, Ellen, what do you need? Silk errand. D 
day, Connor. I left some bolts of fine silk in my old home. They are very valuable, but I don't think it wise I return there. Someone might wind up dead. <laughs> I was hoping you could retrieve them for me if you had time. That's in New York, right? Yeah, okay. Next time I'm in New York. Big Dave? Connor! I have the tools you requested. Ah, excellent. I'll get right to work. Norris has been hanging around pestering me about his knife. <laughs> I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. I imagine they are. I'll have to face them sometime or another. You need help with that. Okay, level two blacksmith. Weapon blades. Lints. Belt buckles. Um, where is that thing? <whistles> Finding his flock. Excuse me, might I impose upon the kindness in your heart to give bed and board to a weary traveler? Oh, traveler from where? Across an ocean, London. English! <laughs> Rest assured, I'm not the king's man. A great kindness. Bless you. We work hard for what we have here, old man. What is it you do exactly? I wish to provide God for those who seek his salvation, not spoon-feed his word to those who already have their own. An outlook not shared by the monarchy. <laughs> Lord knows some of us have things to confess. Ollie and I have been missing our Sunday Mass. I'd like Maria to read the Bible. I'm sure if we all pitched in, we could build a church. If you'd be our pastor. Connor? Welcome, Minister... Father. Father Timothy. Uh, raise a thousand pounds to build a church. Uh, I have more than enough. I'm not playing that game. Connor, morning. I hope you are well this day. Bless you. I bid you good morning, Connor. I am most grateful. Your audio tracks messed up. Ooh, something to climb. Uh, we have a priest. Okay, we have a priest. Let's go this one. Halsey? Halsey? Oh, we've got an actual community here. I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. When my cart went up in flames, I lost most of my tools. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them. Next time I'm in Boston. What would you have me do? What would you have Watch my back do? while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. 
Give me a reason. Come on to make my day. Cause I'm out of cheeks to turn the other way. Ask yourself just how lucky do you feel? What? What's going on, Pudens? What? Help, Connor! Take the Lord! What? Prudence, are you all right? What are Connor! you doing out here in the woods? Thank goodness! The baby's coming! We need to get you to Dr. No, White. No! I can't move! Take my horse! Bring him here! Go! Can't move? <laughs> go, 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 go! Everybody move! Dr. White, come with me now! What's wrong? Prudence is in labor in the forest. In the forest? What in bloody hell is she doing out there? Climb your horse, Does not matter. We need to get Warren. Now? Yes! Okay. Warren, are you here? Over here. What's the trouble? Where is she? Get on your horse, man. Tell me how she seemed to you. In great pain. She could not move herself. Was she pale? Was there blood? Not that I saw. Might be we have some time. We Thanks must hurry! I'm here. Hurry up, Doctor. What's taking so long? Get over here. Hello, Doctor. I think I can manage at the moment. Is she all right, Doctor? No, she's not all right. She's having a baby, and here, by the looks of it. He is. Looks to be in fine health as well. Has a good set of lungs on him. <laughs> no, I don't mean to rush you, but we need to get both you and... Does he have a name yet? Hunter. Oh, why am I so far away? Okay, wife is calling. I am on a short break.
Hello. Okay. Uh, one more home submission, then probably the Boston and New York. Probably Boston and Frontier. I'll get to New York next time. That's the main mission, though. Give me back my bow. She will like it. Uh, Norris. Gunner. Told me once. What? Norris, what are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam her knife. Maybe you come with me? Of course. What is keeping you? I am nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. What am I doing? Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. This is something she will appreciate and use. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. <sighs> Just go, go and give it to her. Go, come on. Come with me, you awkward idiot. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay and chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week, and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. Would you? I'd be much obliged. I, uh, I bring <sighs> something for you. Maybe uh, it will help. I really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Until then... Oh. Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin. Hunt a wolf. I've already hunted many wolves. I have three pelts right here. Who's next? Yama 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 Climb up to the tree stand and scan Yeah, what you doing? Ooh, knife fight. Connor, need some backup. Well, well. No. That's stupid. Connor. Climb. Then use the trees like you're supposed to. <sighs> I think the desync is making me sick. Hang on. Is that a butterfly? Okay. Connor, you out there? Let me let me do that from the start. Connor, you out there? Yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> the Move. time for forgiveness has passed. Move. Uh, I thought this was supposed to be automatic.
the time for forgiveness has passed. Fine, we'll do it on foot. Please don't kill me. I'll never come back. Too late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... I won't come back again. I swear it. God damn it. Stop running out of range. Please don't kill me. I'll... Um. Please, mister. Please. It wasn't right for me to come back. I see that now. Just let me go, and I'll stay away for good. Uh, sorry. The the mission objective says says kill. So. If I hadn't had this blade, that lick spittle might have gutted me. A timely gift from Norris, it would seem. Indeed. I must make sure to thank him properly. Hmm. Level three hunters. Okay. Let's check if we have anything new now. Bear pelt, nice. And what can you craft? Arrows. Busybody? What the hell is that? Laden jar. Iron dagger. Iron tomahawk. Weapon blades. Huh. Cowhide. All purpose remedy. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, Iron Dagger. Oh, it's definitely better. And Iron Tomahawk, 395. Yeah. Three nine five. I think it's better than the officer sword. Uh, three nine five. Let's use the tomahawk for a bit. Okay. Uh, first of all, I hop over to Boston.
What the hell did you just grab though? <laughs> By the way, assassin missions. Pennsylvania. Good, do that. North Carolina. Chunk. <laughs> he fell, he was so surprised. Yeah, sure. Connor, good to see you. Well, we're here. Been trying to avoid eye contact with my old neighbors. So far, so good. Not so worried now you're here. How are you doing otherwise? Oh, all right, I suppose. Things never really go as planned. But that's life. Billy. How do you mean? Why is Colonel so loud? You know, you make a plan and it all goes awry and nothing gets better. Only slightly different. Sounds like you have had a string of misfortune. The shadow is pass. moving. That's very nice. That's very nice. What are you doing here? Sweeping my steps, if it please you. Since when are these your steps? Since I bought them three weeks ago. From who? The owner, via his apprentice. Owner shipped off out of town, what's it to you? I am the owner? Not anymore, mate. Sorry, better sort things out with your apprentice. He's open at the pub over there, but I'm sure you already knew that. Patrick! Oh, so it's really your apprentice. Let's knock some sense into them. Lance! Patrick! What gave you the right to sell my shop? Well, you were run out of town. I thought you'd never come back, so I sold it all. The shop, the tools. It's rough luck. Anyway, it's been great chatting, but I must be off. Have a nice life. <laughs> what rot! Tools are a woodworker's lifeblood! He'd never sell them! I bet he's got them stashed somewhere! Then we follow him. Yeah, stay hidden. Don't just stand there. The Boston Country Journal. The world for a penny. Whoa. Yeah, that never worked. <sighs> Stupid patriots. But all 
your fishing needs, come to Captain Hornbills. Whether a fleet or a weekend angler, he's got everything to make him jump out of the water. Come on. Is your sweaty linen bunching up round your nethers? What? Come to Miss Harrow's for the lightest and most comfortable of unmentionables. In today's weekly advertiser. You're standing in the middle of the street, idiot. For cheerful diversion at all times of year, <laughs> contract the music. I'll load these in the cart come nightfall and be in New York, free of this rubbish for good before the month is out. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's something at least. Thank you. I still can't believe he sold my shop. I'll see you back at the homestead. Good. Naval con oh, naval convoy. Finally. Okay. Volunteer it is. Wait. Back to the homestead in case there's something new. Paper. Have you seen paper? Paper. Buttons. Okay, nothing new for now. Let's go to the frontier. Weapon handles. Weapon blades, weapon handles. Fast travel, yeah, I know. Isn't that near something? Let's go see what who that is. And steal a horse on the way. Maybe see what's in the general store. So, what can I do for you, Menir? That I already used them, but fine, stimulate local business. <laughs> now I have cowhide. Fresh water, always important. St. John's Woods. More bears.
Orri. Orri. Nice. French coat pistol. Light cavalry saber. Increased quiver. Paper, paper. Syrup. I don't have enough glass balls. Good, make some furniture. Now that I have an enhanced What's quiver, give me more arrows. That's it, 12. And I get the weapon wheel, thank you. Stay with the bow. We said... There's a new pistol. Short range 3, rate of fire 3, long range 1. This is 4, 2, 3. Four, three one. This will be useful if I can fire at longer range. But I'm using the bow for longer range. This is for brief. Firing quickly. Cavalry saber, light cavalry saber, two ten four. Two ten four. It's much faster. Yeah, let's give it a go. No. About horses. Bring me a horse. Thank you. Fast. Oh, and switch back to the tomahawk. Wait, my Tomahawk is my first weapon. Oh, so Tomahawk. Oh yeah, you. Have you taken leave of your senses? Monsieur Connor, a pleasure as always. Ooh, what brings you? I wanted to ask you something. Why is this revolution so important to you? Hmm. Since I decided to embark upon this adventure, 
through all the lords and merchants and soldiers I've spoken to. You are the first to ask me this. Have you ever been to France? No. I have not. One day, when all of this is over, I will invite you to Paris to stay with me and my family. Oh. She is the most beautiful city in all the world, Connor. Full of art and culture, women and wine. But she is sick on the inside. Black and rotting. But here, here is something quite different. On the outside, the colonies are dirty and dangerous, unforgiving and uncivilized. But on the inside, they glow. And that is why I am here. To learn. I want to return home, able to touch France's black heart and make it glow once more. The Marquis de Lafayette. Better known as Lafayette, not surprising his full name was Mary Joseph Paul Yves Roche Gilbert du Motier, Marquis de Lafayette. His business card must have been three feet long. Lafayette was a French aristocrat and soldier who decided to join the Revolutionary War and became one of George Washington's most loyal supporters. I'm sure his friends just called him MJ. <laughs> Uh, Lafayette came to colonies in 1777, joining the war effort. He abandoned his post in the French army. When the French found out, his ship intended to sail on was seized. According to one story, Lafayette dressed in women's clothing to better stow away on another ship heading for the new world. Well, we've all done it. Lafayette had been promised a place in the army before he left France, but once he arrived, Congress became worried that he was just a glory seeker. Two things over, Lafayette offered to work for free. Even the ever thrifty Congress awarded him a commission as a major general. Uh, was quite 20 years old, but Lafayette was both rich and a French noble. At the time, Congress was hoping to secure more aid from the French. It would have made, it would have made me suspicious. There was no such thing as, for, as a free French. Lafayette was placed as an aide de camp to George Washington, uh, probably because the French war then seemed to fit, and the two became good friends. Uh, political condition aside, excellent addition to the army, natural leader. Uh, his real fight was the Battle of Brandywine. He was wounded, despite that Lafayette organized an then orderly retreat, which saved hundreds of lives. 1779, Lafayette returned to France, where he negotiated for more troops to be sent to fight in the revolution. Exactly what Congress would hoped for when they hired him. After Lafayette returned to the colonies, he was placed in charge of the French troops and was responsible for chasing the General Cornwallis into Yorktown. There were other people there too. It wasn't just one man chasing another into town. That would have been looked undignified. After the war, Lafayette returned to France, where he was a leader during the initial part of the French Revolution. Unfortunately, he advocated a constitutional monarchy and had to flee when that wasn't enough to satisfy the general populace. He returned to the United States in 1825 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Revolution and was greeted by adoring crowds. In 2002, Lafayette was declared an honorary citizen of the United States, one of seven people to ever receive the tribute. Arrogantly, Lafayette didn't even bother turning up for the ceremony. That's the French for you. New York, Bottomweight Agreement, signed 1792. The precursor to New York Stock Exchange, signed under the Bottomweight Tree on Wall Street, hence the name. Luckily, it wasn't a monkey puzzle tree. That would not be a dignified name at all. The game itself was fairly simple. 24 local merchants agreed that they would trade only with one another and they would take a 0.25% commission on whatever they traded. In case you're thinking 1792 is too early for there to be stocks to trade, it wasn't. The first war bonds were released by Alexander Hamilton in 1790, two years before. So you're wrong and you should probably keep your opinions to yourself. Okay, that's the marquee. Let's talk to George, I guess. Yo, Georgie! Where you at, Georgie? 